Match just started. It's going to be crazy. Team Deathmatch. Score go up to 200. So it's going to be possible like a 20 minute getting. Wow, man. I just held down the trigger like a noob. Give me in a different party, please. Yes, yes. This party looks pretty good. Stay with me now. Stay with me. Damn, I got revived and killed. Hopefully I get revived again. Reason why you want to know what party you're in is because uh, of what guys are using in the squad. So like, let's say, uh, see how I'm changing my squad. I forgot what it's called. But you want to play with guys who have those because if they have them, then you share those too with them. That means you have them. Uh, guys are using M320s. I'm going to have to pull out my M320 next round. They want to... I'm not going to be taking that for those. I let him go first. If he died, and I could get up and revive him. Hey, here's your med kit. Come on! I should have thought Nate, not even rush that. Go around, be safe. Look at somebody brought me down to zero health. There was a snipe, but it wasn't a headshot. I 
I try to revive him too late. Wow, it's close. I think they're rushing. Come on, team. Let's get out and revive them. On a nice 12 and 2 run. Ah, oh, can't go through there. Snipers.
God. I think they're coming up our stairs. Wow, oh, fucking teammate blocked me, man. Man, they spawned them all on me. First aid, man. Budge. Let me switch my weapon up. Um, laser sight is good for the hip fire, but I'm a little heavy barrel for uh, a little long distance. And I also think laser fire is kind of giving me that red dot. I'm not 100% sure, but like I said, I've been a while since I played this, but if it is giving me the red light as I zoom in, then that's really uh, throwing me off as I aim at certain people because then they'll know. Got your first aid. And I think they have like radar on the ground so they know exactly when I'm in their building like this. Yeah, Swamp Beacon Sue, see how they got the little radar on the floor? So I took over this building and I killed the guy who had the Spawn Beacon, so uh, Yeah, whoever's left will be around here. Other than that, they're all gone. Those guys was giving the whole team the spawn over in this area, so I ended up clearing that up, which is pretty smooth. Let's go see what's going on in this building. See somebody on the radar, go to flank him. He might have some help down here too. Even though I want to go revive my teammate, sometimes you just can't. Oh, somebody sniping at me. And I see a player down here, I gotta go get him in the corner. See the radar, one guy in the middle, bottom left. One guy still back over there in that corner from before. We'll try to clear him up real quick. He's aiming at me pretty. Got him. Ah, come on, teammate. You got to get him. You got a sniper. I think he failed. Let's see if I can finish this up.
That was from the Ah, somebody killed me on my left. You're just for me. Three more kills to go. We probably got this. Actually, we do. And I die at the end. They will give me the death. Right now, they're gonna change that shit. Oh, they did. Alright, so that was, um. That was pretty fun. I went 38 kills, 9 deaths. Like I said, we a 4.22 ratio. I did a lot of teamwork, you guys see, revive the whole thing. It's been a while since I played this, and uh. I know many of you guys for some gameplays of it, so here's a gameplay, man. Enjoy this 16 minute of uh, action. I'm gonna be giving out some more. I actually end up purchasing Aftermath, and um, and I definitely wanna give you some TDM on that as well, and Conquest down the road with uh, some teammates and friends. Everybody quit out.